course, the present moment, it's harder because, uh, uh, for instance, in my country, uh, the first thing to be cut down is culture. And in Europe, you know, we have all this uh, funding for culture, but when in a moment of crisis, it's the first thing to, to drop down. Uh, so uh, there is this atmosphere around me, uh, like catast catastrophic about uh, the future of the kind of work I do, short films. Uh, like, um, uh, but I confess that for my next project, since the beginning, uh, in, even in this uh, period of crisis, I, I was lucky and uh, I very quickly I got the funding in Portugal. Now I'm trying to settle down some co-productions. The reactions are very, very good. So I feel lucky in this atmosphere of crisis to go through. Uh, but in general, uh, of course, short films have this main problem. They don't, there is no sp space for short films uh, in television, in cinemas. Uh, so uh, everybody is telling us that uh, people from industry, why, why do you do this? How can you live on this? Uh, it's very naive, but it's the truth because we love them. <laughs> uh, and so far, um, me and my producer, Abby, we have also a, a, a strategy because a short film has a very limited period of time. The life of a short film is short, normally, because it's uh, re basically to show it in festivals, special programs, etc. So we developed a kind of uh, strategy to uh, keep longer the life of a short film. So normally, each time we finish a short film, we prepare some uh, publishing uh, material, some books or some um, uh, educational products, uh, and also uh, an exhibition. And for instance, for one of my films, Tragic Story with Happy Ending, uh, we settled, we had well, a lot of material drawings, the drawings were nice. So we settled up an exhibition and it was very successful. We get more, fun, more money from uh, renting the exhibition in, uh, in, a, in several countries actually, than from selling the film to televisions. <laughs> and so far it was shown in uh, seven or eight different countries. And we made already 20 exhibitions because sometimes it travels in the country. So just to give an example how we can uh, extend the life of a short film that normally would die in two years and um, not only have some other uh, incoming, but also um, in enlarge the audience. It's not only the spectators from a festival, it's another kind of audience that you can get. I didn't, it was uh, animation that chose me. I mean, I was still a student, art student, and I was looking for a part-time to pay my studies because it was, uh, at that time, uh, it was five years studying and it's expensive, the materials, uh, uh, the oil, the, the, the canvas and so. So I was looking for a, a part-time job and I met these people from this small studio and they saw my drawings and they said, oh, you should come to the studio. We, are, we need people at this moment. So animation, what, the, what is this? It was not something that I was interested in. Then I went there and the people were so nice. And it was so different from um, art, milieu where people are very pretentious and, uh, you know, the artist is on uh, uh, very high and we cannot uh, accede to him. But in animation, people were very nice and welcoming. And this was the first thing that uh, uh, attracted me. 
And the other thing is when I uh, made my first animation for some other's film, and I saw these drawings moving, and this was really uh, something. So, finally, I finished my studies in painting, but I moved to animation. Basically because of the people and this magic of the moving image.